Hello, welcome to my video. Today I'll be teaching you the basics of using an embroidery machine. This is the Brother SE600 and it's a sewing machine and an embroidery machine. So to use this as an embroidery machine, you have to attach the embroidery unit to this. So to attach the embroidery unit, all you have to do is hold on to this button here. Now keep on holding on to it and all you have to do is slide it into the embroidery machine. And you should hear a click. So first you should turn on the embroidery machine. So the button is usually just located at the side or to the back of the sewing machine. And also you should make sure that your machine is plugged in. As you can see here, it's connected to the machine and also I've plugged it into the wall. So I've opened my machine up now and to start it, all you have to do is press on the screen here and then there'll be this message and all you have to do is press OK and the carriage will start moving a little bit. Or usually the machine will come with some designs and here for the SE600 there's a few. So if I click into here, there's these ones here, there's some flower designs. And then I click on this next button here to move through the designs. Now going back, there's also these designs as well, some more complicated designs. And there's also some borders that you could place around your designs. And lastly, there's also some fonts as well. So now if you want to create your own designs, you have to digitize them. So either you could purchase it from a digitizer on websites such as Etsy, or you could create your own. There's a free software called Inkscape that uses, that uses an extension called Inkstitch, and that's what you use to create the designs. I've never purchased anything online, and I've always created things myself. But I'll show you what websites you can use and also how to download the embroidery software. So to get embroidery designs onto your machine, you can you could use Etsy. So you could search up something like embroidery designs. If you're searching for something more specific, just make sure to include that in the search. So there's a lot of designs on Etsy and everything does cost money. So this one here, it's $2.61. Usually they're not too expensive. Uh, well, it depends on what designs you get. And usually there's a few sizes. And it'll be a digital download that you could download right away. They usually offer many different embroidery formats. So there's the JEF, PES, HUS. Um, so it just depends what embroidery machine you have. For me, I use Brother, so it's PES. And just to note, most of these items are non-refundable since they're an instant download. Make sure to look at the reviews before you purchase. There's definitely other sites as well, so you could go Google and search embroidery designs. Most of the time you'll have to pay, but it seems like this website has also has a lot of embroidery designs that you could use. If you don't want to spend money purchasing designs, you could definitely create it yourself. So one way is through downloading a free software called Inkscape. So just Google Inkscape and then you could click on download now. And then click on the Windows installer package. 
and wait for it to download. And once it's finished, you should click on the file and press OK. Um, you might get a warning, but it's safe. And now you just have to follow the instructions to get it all set up. So now that's finished downloading, all you have to do is download the extension called InkStitch. And I'm going to click on download and then I'm using Windows, so I'm going to click on Windows. And then I'm going to click on this one here. And now let's open InkStitch. And let's click on next and install. Okay, so now it's finished. So you've officially downloaded InkStitch now. And yeah, you could begin to digitize things. So let's open Inkscape by double clicking on this. Okay, so let's create a new document by clicking on new document. And this is how Inkscape will look. So let's start by setting everything up. So I just opened objects and then layers and object. Fill and stroke is really important. Oh, and you could go in between tabs by clicking here and here. So we currently have these two opened right now. Oh, so trace bitmap is right here. So you go path and then trace bitmap. For now, I think this will be enough. So you can watch my tutorials on how to digitize by clicking on my channel and I have three tutorials on how to use Inkscape right now. Here, I'll just show you something really quick and simple that you could create. So I just searched up a picture of a heart and this is really, really simple. Um, I'm just going to copy the image, go back to Inkscape. And then I'm going to paste this in. So I'm going to go to File, Document Properties. And right now it's set to A4, which is much, which is too big. Ensure that's in inches. And let's change it to 4x4. Four four. And now you'll see that this square is a 4x4 four four size. The reason I'm changing, changing it to 4x4 four four is because my machine can only take up to 4x4 four four hoops. So I'm going to hold down control on my keyboard and then make this smaller. We have to digitize this. Um, since it's only one, one color and a really simple shape, I'm just going to show you a really fast way of converting this into an embroidery file. For more complicated files, I recommend going to my channel and looking for the other tutorials that I have up. Okay, so we're going to click on trace bitmap here, then click on our image. And it's set to brightness cutoff, which is fine. And then let's just apply this. And now we have something that we could digitize and border out on our machine. And then we could change the color by clicking on this and changing it to red. So let's go to our layers and you'll see that there's a path now. This is what the embroidery machine will embroider out. So let's go ahead and delete this image. So I just uh, copy and pasted all these hearts. And then I'm going to change this color. Now it doesn't really matter what color I change it to, because when I embroider it out, I could just change the thread color. But yeah, now we've completed our design. And then we'll just have to export it out now. So let's go to File. Let's just save this first. And I'm just going to call this Heart Tutorial. And then now I'm going to save it one more time. And then I'm going to save it as a PES file. And this is the file we'll use to embroider out. So let's save that. I'm actually going to save, save it again. I'm going to save it into my USB as a PES file. And now we are done. So first we will have to insert the needle into our machine. So this is the needle. The size is 7511. So when you're inserting the needle into the machine, 
make sure the flat side of the needle is facing towards the back. So all you have to do is lower your presser foot, insert the needle, and then just tighten the screw. Next, I'll show you how to thread your embroidery machine. So first, you put your thread onto the spool, and then you hook it under this silver hook here. And you'll see that there's usually instructions, so you just loop it down the embroidery machine, and you go back up, and then loop it back down again, but make sure this time it's caught onto the silver hook. And now you just grab your thread, and make sure it's attached to this silver part here. And then just bring the thread up around and cut the thread. Once it's been cut, you can just push down on this automatic thread threader and it will automatically thread your needle. Um, but all you have to do is just grab something sharp and pointy and then just pull this thread through. Now we are done. Next, you have to put in your bobbin thread and make sure it's going counterclockwise, the thread, and then you just follow the machine and then it'll just automatically cut it and then you put it back on and now you're done. So you just have to hoop some stabilizer and fabric. Make sure to loosen your hoop enough so you could get the top hoop inside easily. I'm just using cutaway stabilizer and using felt as the fabric. And now just tighten the hoop once you've got it in. You can skip this step if your machine is not in the sewing operation mode, but mine is, so I'll have to change the presser feet into the embroidery feet. So to do this, I grab this tool here. If you don't have this, a mini screwdriver would work. And then I just put it in between the screw, and then I just turn it to loosen it. Once it's loosened, the presser foot should come off easily. If not, just loosen it some more with your hand. And now here's the embroidery foot. You just have to attach the bottom part there onto the screw and then tighten it. And there's, there's also this little clasp here that you could just hold down. So match it up with the screw and put it in. Next, you could just tighten the screw. Once it's tight, you should make sure that it's tight enough by using the little tool there to tighten it up a little bit more. Once that's tightened, you can begin embroidering. So now just grab your USB and then insert it into the machine. There's usually, there's usually like a little slot. So all you have to do is just plug it in and then turn on your machine. So once it's turned on, you just have to press on that symbol at the bottom right, and then just select your design. And then here you could move your design however you want. Right now I'm just moving it to the top left. Next, just grab your hoop with your fabric and then attach it to your machine. You just have to push down. Usually you'll hear a click. Now you just have to lower your presser foot, and then you can start embroidering. Now that this is done, I'm going to embroider the third heart since it's the same color. It's quicker that way since we won't have to change our thread four times. So now I'm going to skip to the third heart. I just click on this plus button and make sure it's on the third heart. And you'll see at the top right it says 3 out of 4, which is what I want. And now I'm going to start embroidering the third heart. Now that we're done, we could cut this jump thread or this jump stitch. 
Next, we have to embroider the two other hearts, which is a pink color. So you have to change your thread again. So make sure to change your thread to a different color. It doesn't have to be pink. It could be whatever you want. Um, so now I've changed my thread, and I'm just going to start embroidering the second heart by navigating to the two out of four. This means that it's going to embroider out the second heart. So lower the presser foot again, and then just start embroidering. And now we'll do the same thing for the last heart. Just navigate to the fourth heart by pressing on the plus button. It says 404, which is what we want. And now we could just start embroidering. And now we are all done. And this is how the four hearts look. And so that's how you use your embroidering machine to embroider things. Thank you for watching. I hope you were able to take away something useful.